So, how's it going guys? Shade here, back with another video, and today I bring you uh, my Unchained uh, Labyrinth uh, deck profile. So, I started doing this uh, subscriber votes, where you can, like, vote, uh, I can ask you, like, uh, a f what decks you would like to see, and I would choose three, and you can vote out, out of those three uh, which one you would like to see. Uh, on the channel, so uh, if you're not subscribed, subscribe never miss any of those uh, subscriber votes. I will try to do them at least like um, every two weeks. Uh, as long as I have time, I'll try to do them as much as possible. Um, and today, uh, Labyrinth uh, won for this week, so here is Labyrinth, uh, the Unchained Labyrinth uh, spe specifically. So um, let's get into uh, a few basic uh, plays. And then I'll go into the deck list. So, starting off, we have the the simple furniture combo where you just have access to um, cook lock and another furniture. Um, if you have both furnitures, it's even better because uh, it gives you so much more. Um, just to have a double furniture, that it's really really good. Um, and you also can do uh, all of these plays uh, on your opponent's turn zero, uh, since you can just uh, you can just use them on their turn while your opponent has combo. You want to interrupt them? You can just use this, which is really really nice. Uh, but let's just get into the start of it. So um, we're gonna go and de activate uh, Labyrinth Clock, and uh, now. Um, as long as Kuklok is in the grave, uh, you can chain uh, a la uh, furniture. So you can chain an another furniture right now uh, as chain link two, and it will still work. The second effect of Kuklok special summon. You just can't go uh, l furniture effect and then uh, Kuklok. It needs to already be in the grave. So since it discards for cost, you can go chain link one Kuklok chain link two um, uh, furniture. And if you have two, uh, the two furnitures in your hand, you always start with Shandraglier so that you can possibly uh, use uh, Stovi Torby um, when you special summon it back. So you get uh, the double set off of it, which is really, really nice. Um, so yeah, now we go chain link to Shandraglier. And we get ourselves a big welcome. And now we can trigger the Cool Clock to special summon. And we can activate a big welcome to summon a um, level from the deck and return the cook lock. And since we've done that, um, love both lovely, uh, sorry, uh, both uh, furnitures and lovely will trigger. So I'm gonna go chain link one Chandrag, chain link two Torby, and chain link three uh, lovely. So at this point, you took you destroyed one card of your opponent's hand, then we get uh, the Chandrag to our hand and the Storby to the field. And now we can use uh, Lady uh, to get the trap back on the field. And we can use Stovi Torby, since we have not used it in this turn, to set. And we can get either a Welcome Labyrinth or uh, the Field Spell. But I like uh, doing this setup for some uh, big plays. Um, now it's just past turn. And a thing you can do is, for example, you can just go um, main one, activate Welcome Labyrinth. Um, your opponent can't ash or bell it because you already have uh, Lovely in the field, which is really good. Uh, and we just get uh, the Lady Labyrinth. We go big welcome and then we can chain the la Lady Labyrinth. So we get uh, a trap uh, to like respond to our opponent. So um, if you're like on game three, game two, for example, out of, uh, out of the three ones, uh, you can like side in those really really powerful uh, traps that will just completely uh, shut down your opponent's deck. So um, you most likely will be going for something like a different dimension ground uh, or a dimensional barrier or whatever it is, um, depending on what your opponent um, is playing. Uh, but since those are always on the side deck, I just do this. Uh, you basically just get any uh, any trap, and I like after root because uh, it also gives you another trap next uh, next turn, which is really nice. Um, 
So yeah, you just use the um, lady to get another trap. You summon something from the deck and return the lady to the uh, to the hand. Now we can activate Ariana. We can activate both furnitures in the grave, and we can activate a uh, lady. So we can destroy a second card in our opponent's hand. And of course, uh, if you want to have the trap live as much as possible, you could have chained Cool Clock to the activation of Lady Labyrinth. Uh, yeah, you just get the two furnitures back, and uh, you can get a search. Uh, right here, since you already have everything, I like searching for uh, the field spell. And now we, uh, yeah, we can make the trap live with Cool Clock, and this is basically everything. Um, so we just destroyed two cards on our opponent's hand. Um, we got to get uh, any trap that we want uh, from our deck to interrupt your opponent. And you have a really good grind game setting up because now you can go Stovi and Shandrag and keep um, getting resources from the deck. You still have uh, the field spell that we, we just got. Uh, and this is just a really, really good grind game. And yeah, I just really like this a lot. Uh, now let's go for a different combo. Uh, this is the same hand, but um, you can um, with this go into your um, unchain combos, uh, which I will showcase right in a second. So as always, just cool clock first, and then we activate uh, one uh, um, furniture. Here it doesn't matter which one because we are not going to use the Torby on the field. So now Cool Clock just activates a special summon, and we can go big welcome, summon the lovely, return the Cool Clock. And now we can trigger both Furnitures and lay, uh, Lovely. So we got rid of one card in our opponent's hand, and we got both uh, Furnitures back. And now, uh, depending if you already have the level 4 on the field, in case you use the level 4 to search for the missing Furnitures, uh, or something, um, you can just link summon with two monsters into the, the Yama. But since in this case we did not go uh, through the Ariane, uh, we are gonna, uh, first of course, we have, are gonna set back the big welcome. And now we can just normal summon anything uh, for Yama. And Yama effect is gonna get Sharvara. And we can use Sharvara on the set welcome. And we link off into Rage and um, Charvar Effect going to get the trap. And this might not look like much, but um, if you have another card in your hand, you can just Shandrag now and get another trap for next turn, which will trigger uh, the Ku Clock. Um, uh, oh, sorry. No, we already triggered Ku Clock turn, but you can at least get another trap um, next turn. Uh, you, you can use like, a big welcome labyrinth to uh, return a card to the hand, and that will trigger all your furnitures and, uh, in the grave to come back. Uh, it's going to trigger Lovely again to pop another card. And you have uh, Escape Rage uh, setup. So basically it's another uh, one disruption with uh, the trap and another three disruptions. So this Unchained line is like four disruptions by itself. Then we have a 5th Disruption on the Big Welcome Labyrinth, and a 6th Disruption when you Big Welcome to uh, use uh, Lovely. You can also use Lovely off of Escape, since it's a normal, as, as long as you destroy a monster, it's really nice. Um, and yeah, it will just keep getting back the furniture and give you a good crime game, and uh, cool thing also, uh, Yama, depending on... Uh, How's your uh, place looking like? Uh, it can also just uh, revive your um, your uh, labyrinth monsters because they're all fiends, which is really good. So yeah, I like this part as well. And let's just go into the next combo, which is uh, a different combo. Uh, it's more of an um, anti-meta combo right now. Um, so most decks right now uh, love using the uh, the graveyard. So I just wanted to showcase what you can do if you have access to Cool Clock, um, any uh, furniture, and the trap, uh, and of course the random card for the furniture. 
Uh, but yeah, you just need a trap, full clock, and one of the furnitures for this full combo. It's really, really nice. So uh, we're just going to start with cool clock. And then we're going to chain Stovey right here. Discard a random card, get the big welcome, and cool clock special summon. And now we can go big welcome. And we're special summoning the Ariane this time and returning the cool clock to our hand. Since we did this, uh, the Ariane is going to trigger to draw a card. And uh, the Soviet is also going to trigger. We just get another random card. I'm going to use the Nibiru's random cards. So we replace the random card that we discarded for a furniture already. And a cool thing is that uh, Arian is not, uh, unlike the, uh, the other Arian uh, or Ariana, um, you can use both effects on the same turn, so you can draw and special summon from the deck at the same time. And since we use Big Welcome, we are not fiend locked, so we can go Ariane, effect, we discard the random trap we have and get uh, the Ra Ariana from the deck. Ariana gives us a search, could be like a Big Welcome, for example, so that we still have a lovely uh, setup. And now we can just go into a Vist Dweller. And this combo is really, really good against decks like um, Fire King. And you still have a uh, furniture setup with a Cook Lock. And you also have still uh, the, um, the lovely setup. And uh, really cool if you have a rollback as your uh, random trap. Uh, instead of searching for Big Welcome, you could have searched for. Uh, either a field spell or another trap, and uh, just use rollback on big welcome, pay off your life points and get lovely and return the furniture right now and uh, pop something. Uh, so we already have uh, the setup. No, uh, we could, uh, yeah, this is because you substitute for one of these. Uh, if you already have, um, if you have transaction rollback instead of getting the big welcome, uh, I like welcome here, and of course, uh, lady can just set back the big welcome. So yeah, Ariane is actually really really nice into the fire decks because of that. If you open this play, you can just abyss dweller uh, and get both traps at the same time. If you got transaction roll bar, uh, rollback, otherwise you can just get um, lovely setup as well as abyss dweller, which is really 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 cool. Um, and all the cards that you get rid, uh, you just get back to your hand because um, the furniture ke keep getting back to your hands uh, uh, and you draw a card off of uh, Arian, so you still have two randoms in your hand and uh, two engine cards as well as this wolf feel, which is really really cool. Um, and I personally like Abyss Dweller into this meta. So that's it for the combos, let's go into the deck profile. I'm not much of a master of uh, Labyrinth, but th this is what I've been um, thinking is uh, the best way. Um, so for the um, the furnitures, we just maximize everything, triple of everything, because you just want to see those cards to play on your opponent's turn, um, play on uh, on the turn zero. Uh, you just need to see Cool Clock plus any furniture as much as possible, and so we just play three of everything because it's our most um, important starters, which is really really nice. Uh, you usually you would play like one or two at most, uh, as I've seen. Uh, but right now, uh, this is actually uh, the best way to play it, um, as some people have seen on their uh, on on their. Uh, uh, personal testings, at least uh, online, I found a lot of people uh, starting to go into the triple furnitures, uh, triple of each furniture, really, really uh, more often. Uh, yeah, this is just better. These cards are just insane. They give you insane uh, grind game and just really, really good. Uh, then of course you have triple Ariana because it it just searches everything. It searches any of our important furniture pieces. It searches for the field spell if we need. It searches for any trap. Can search the lady. Uh, it's really really good. Um, so yeah, triple Ariana really really important for consistency. Uh, then we have double lady one lovely. This is just standard. Um, you don't really want to play a third lady uh, because it doesn't really come up that 
much. It it's nice if you uh, draw into one lady, uh, and it might be important to have a second one for a grind game. Uh, but it is available if you can like cut the the one lady and just play one and one um, as like engine requirements. But lady, it's okay to draw into, so you can like play two. And if you draw into it, you can like try to um, get um some uh traps from your deck for free like the after route for example um so yeah two lady is more than okay really really nice then we have lovely because she's insane but she's basically a brick you just need the one off as a requirement you don't really need more than that but really really cool um then you have the ariane because this is just uh really spicy just go and um, get more cards out of your deck to set up uh, better, which I, I really, really like a lot. Um, then you have the one um, one uh, field spell. The card is okay. Um, I don't see myself searching into it as much, uh, only if I already have everything, because if you already have everything, it's a nice boost, but uh, most times you don't really go into it. Uh, at least from what I've found playing. Like, it's really, really good when it gets into rotation uh, alongside everything else, but you need everything else already, so uh, the one is more than fine. Just, if you can go for it, you you go for it. If not, it doesn't really matter as much. Uh, then for the traps, three big welcome, two welcome labyrinths. Some people are trying to play a triple welcome labyrinth, but I think for this version of the deck, I just really uh, couldn't fit the third Welcome Labyrinth. Uh, I, feel, I feel like it works better uh, if you're playing the Arias, which I'm not playing because in this version it does not work as well. Uh, it is actually just completely ass, especially since we're playing the rollback right here. Uh, Arias is just uh, really, really bad into this list, so I, I, instead of playing an Arias, I just play the Arian for um, XTs combos. Um, so yeah, only two is more than enough. You don't really need the third one, especially because it gets back it goes back onto the field when it when it is in the graveyard, so really really only need two. Then we have triple rollback because this card is insane. It can just be free fodder for Ariane or the furnitures. uh it lets you play around and traps like ash and bell uh. It is actually really, really good as well in the Labyrinth uh, Mirror Match. You just set it and you activate and get uh, value off of your opponent having uh, their um, their traps in the graveyard, which is really, really nice. Uh, I really like it a lot. Uh, then I went with, uh, for the traps, one after root, one over root, because after root is actually quite nice. It has a bit of a confusing order of events, sense of... Um, but the fact that it also uh, gives you another trap next turn for free is really really nice and you could actually like bump this up to uh, two after root, one over root it could be really really nice uh, but yeah, uh, this card is actually really good just giving yourself another trap just really really strong uh, and we have the overroot for the afterroot. Um, just simple. You just play one and one. Um, then for the pots, I'm playing two prosperity, three extravagance because you need a lot of the pots because you want to see all the times your um, engine pieces. You need to have the furnitures in rotation, for example. So you really want. Uh, to get draws into your deck, uh, the pots are just really, really good. I'm only playing True Prosperities because Extravagance is infinitely better in this deck. Uh, in this deck, drawing two is much, much uh, better than getting um, to select one of your top six cards from your deck. Uh, so yeah, Extravagance is just really, really OP in this deck over uh, Prosperity. So two and three works really nice. Um, then we have the Unchained package, which is just Sharvara and Trap. It's just straightforward. You search Sharvara off of the link, and then you can pop something that uh, you have on the field or set by the Lovely. Uh, to summon it, and when it goes to the graveyard, it gets the escape. You can also like discard it off of the furniture and get you the escape. 
uh, but it's not as good um, that way. But at least if you draw into it, it's not bad. It's not awful, you know. Uh, you can at least discard it, and then, of course, Yama can add it from the grave. So it's not bad to draw into it. Uh, I mean, it is bad, but it's not awful. Uh, and then you just have six and trap plots, which uh, in Burm is almost mandatory because it's a trap. So you can just search it uh, technically off of a lady. Uh, so in Burm is just really strong in this deck because uh, it's just a normal trap, which uh, works well with the archetype. And then I just wanted to have uh, something really, really um, high impact. So I just went with Triple Nibiru. Um and yeah, that's it for the main deck. Uh, not really much to talk about um, more. Let's go into the extra deck, which is pretty straightforward. It's just triple Yama, uh, triple Rage, uh, because you just want to guarantee that your extravagance doesn't banish these cards since they are like the best of your extra deck. You just really want them as much as possible. So 2 and 3, just really explanatory. Um, double Anguish, because it's also really important sometimes uh, breaking boards, but you are like fine if it gets banished. It's not as mandatory as Rage or Yama, uh, but it is good to have, but you just can't put all three offs in your extra deck, okay? You just need to fit everything in, so uh, double anguish is more than enough. Then you have double SP, because once again, extravagance, and this card is really, really nice. Some people are like, playing 3 SP, but I feel like 2 is more than 5, and uh, like the chances that both copies get banned off of Extravagance are not that high at all. Um, and then yeah, we have one Muckracker because it's just good uh, in this deck. If you you don't get access to it, it's like fine, but um, it, it is really cool. And there are some lines to like get your trap uh, immune of... Um, of uh, ant traps uh, with um, with it, uh, which uh, I thought would not be as important because it, it's it, most times uh, you don't uh, really want to go into it, and you need to draw the one of lovely for that. So it doesn't really matter. Um, then we have double chaos angel because it's really really nice. You can just make it with uh, Torbjorn's uh, lovely art lady. And it's just a free banish, and it's also really, really big. Cannot be destroyed by battle, which will come up sometimes, which is re really, really nice. Uh, and then double dweller because it's really strong. This uh, format, and uh, yeah, it's just really, really strong to get access into it with Arian. And yeah, I feel like I have nothing else to talk about. I just have here in the side deck like, some options. Uh, for your um, traps that you get off Lady uh, after you scythe. Uh, Simul Archfiends is actually really, really cool. Uh, it's basically a dimensional barrier, uh, but also includes Link. Uh, basically, you just let the Snake Eyes go into Link Rivo, and w while they control Link Rivo, you just flip this, and they can't Link Summon for the rest of the turn. So they're basically just, like, unable to do anything. Like, they just sit on Flamberge and pass... There's really not much they can do uh, uh, with that, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, different Dimension Ground is also really, really nice. This is basically just Shifter. Uh, and it's only for the turn, so you can like just go through your full combo and search it on your opponent's draw phase with a uh, Lady and activate it, and now your opponent is playing under Shifter. And Dimensional Barrier, I spoke, it's like Stimul, but... You know, against some decks, waiting for them to have one of these monsters on the field to flip it is not as good. So you can still, like, play one and one in the side deck. And then, of course, Eradicator for things like uh, Runic Variants. Uh, Mirror Match is also ri really nice to just call traps when your opponent has a lot of stuff uh, set and just remove everything. Uh, this card is just really, really cool, really strong. Unfortunately, you cannot use it off of uh, transaction rollback uh, because of the way that the card is worded. But yeah, it's still really, really good. Uh, and these are like the most um, important targets uh, for uh, Lady to search off your deck, in my opinion, 
um, after you side. So yeah, that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Comment if you have any suggestions or questions for me. Subscribe never miss any of my future videos. And I'm gonna see you guys next time.